What's up, Snow Tracks Nation? Luke here, bringing you guys a incredibly exciting walk around video. Something that uh, we wanted, you wanted, you've been driving us nuts asking us about, and I can finally give you the answer you're looking for. This is the 2024 Skidoo XRS 850 E-Tech Turbo R. This is Skidoo's two-stroke turbo. And to say that they've done this differently than what you might have expected might be an understatement. This thing is wild. Now, it only comes in one package. It comes in this package, the MXZ XRS, just like it is. It only comes in the competition package trim as well, so you get all those goodies. If you want the turbo two-stroke, this is how it comes, and uh, that's good because you don't need anything else. This is, this is what you want anyway. So let's quickly go over just the chassis before I get into the nitty-gritty of what you're really looking for. You've got your basically your standard XRS chassis, um, XRS front suspension, um, R-Motion X rear suspension, RAS X front suspension. So it's basically the same thing. Thing. Um, competition package gets you the tunnel stiffeners, um, the rail stiffeners, and a bunch of other goodies spattered all about. I know that you know what that is, I know what that is. We don't need to cover a lot of that. I don't have a lot of time, so I want to get into the good stuff. Now, what is uh, an E-Tech Turbo R two-stroke? Well, it's basically, basically the mountain engine setup, but on the trail, there were ways that, that Skidoo needed to keep the intake cool, to continue to make horsepower at sea level, to make this thing perform or outperform anything else on the snow. And the way they did that, traditionally you just throw an intercooler on it and that would be the way to keep your intake temperatures cool, your air temperatures cool as they're injected into the engine. But instead of doing that, because intercoolers weigh a lot and there's a lot of complexity with hoses, there's time from intake air getting through the intercooler into the actual engine itself. There's all kinds of reasons why an intercooler is good and there's a bunch of reasons why an intercooler isn't good. So instead of doing that, Skidoo has developed an ethanol and water injection system. I'm gonna say that again, ethanol and water, it's an XPS proprietary blend specifically for this setup. So you can buy it from XPS, Skidoo will be selling it at all their dealers. It goes in this tank right here and it injects ethanol and water along with your intake charge and it keeps the intake air temperature cooler for prolonged higher performance at longer throttle wide open settings. So it's, it, it's complex, I guess, but it's actually not, and it works. Now there's a couple specifics about it that are important. It's dependent, when it kicks in, is dependent on ambient air temperature. So uh, let's say you're at zero degrees Celsius, because I'm Canadian, uh, you might get 12 seconds of wide open throttle before it begins to inject. So you're going to get 180 horsepower, which is what this makes, for about 12 seconds, and then it's going to start injecting. But if you were at warmer temperatures, then it's going to take less time. You might only get four seconds of wide open before it begins to inject. And if it's colder, you might get more. There's all kinds of calculations. I'm not getting this 100% right, and I'm sorry. But the point is, depending on ambient air temperature, you can run full throttle without using anything from this tank. So it's not like you always have to use this and you're gonna run out of it. For the average guy, you might go a thousand kilometers and not use this full tank. So don't worry about what am I gonna do if I run out? It's not a problem. Now, if you run out, here's the interesting part, you can still go full throttle, get 180 horsepower for those same amount of seconds. But after that, if it doesn't have any fluid to inject, it'll just go back down to the 165 horsepower that you get from any 850. So you will never be less performance than anybody else's 850. You will always have at least that much, but you're gonna have so much more when this thing is giving you full boost. So it runs somewhere in the neighborhood of, there, nobody ever gives you the numbers, but four-ish, four to five pounds of boost at full throttle at sea level. And man, let me tell you, as far as smooth turbos go, this one takes the cake. This thing is unbelievable. You cannot tell, you cannot tell it's, it's got a turbo under the hood until you hold it wide open and it never stops pulling. That's the thing that impressed me the most. Uh, we had it up at elevation, we're at about six something thousand feet right now, and it was still pulling indicated 118 miles an hour on the Speedo, which is just 
baffling. Trailable, 100% trailable, easy to ride, smooth to ride. Of course, you've got your Gen 5 platform that gives you unrivaled rear end ride quality. Uh, you know, your, your RASX front end that's giving you great handling, flat handling. Um, you've got KYB Pro 40 Kashima coated shocks up front and the KYB Kashima's in the back. Um, one thing that's interesting, and I know this isn't new, but I wanted to point it out because I really like it, and I haven't done anything with our XRS that we have on the ground this past season, the 2023, is that these K KYB shocks are three position, kind of like, I don't want to use a competitor's name, but kind of like a QS3, but better because they're Pro 40s and they're Kashima coated, so way better. But three, simple three click adjustment. And that's, uh, that's the way it should be. It's so simple for everyone to use. They work great and each click gives you a massive change and how the sled rides, so you notice it. And it's very simple, you won't get it screwed up. That's the way it should be. I love that about this sled. Um, ergonomic package is the same as what we're used to. Hand guards, this cool looking low windshield, I think this looks absolutely fantastic, it looks great. Uh, but there's another new part on this sled that you guys should be as excited about as I am. Jake, come over here, because I want you to see on this side. So one thing I've always complained about with skidoos is that the, the brake doesn't give me enough feel. I don't feel like I've got enough power when I squeeze the brake. I'm a one finger brake guy and I've never been able to come to terms with that. This is new. So up here, you've got a new master cylinder, new lever that's adjustable. I mean, how long have we been begging for an adjustable lever on a snowmobile? Skidoo's given it to us. This is great. This isn't what's important. What's important is down here. Down here, you've got a Brembo four piston caliper. This is some serious stopping power. And what it does is it allows you to run one finger on the brake lever of this sled and get excellent feel, excellent feedback, but most importantly, excellent braking power with just one finger. This is the solution. This changes everything about Skidoo brakes and I'm absolutely in love with it right now. We put a lot of miles on this thing today and you know, this is a super fast snowmobile and it gets there really fast. So you gotta have good brakes to slow you down. These are the best brakes Skidoo has ever produced on any snowmobile they've ever made, and, and they're awesome. So that's a big one for me, because again, I did complain a lot about that. Problem solved, that's nothing I can't complain about anymore. What am I gonna complain about now? I got nothing to complain about. Anyway, this thing is a serious beast. Um, this does come with the full gauge, uh, the big fancy digital gauge that everybody loves. I'm actually totally at home with this gauge now uh, after riding it for the pass a little bit at home and then here I've come to terms with how it works I can you I can access everything I want basically without looking now another little thing before I end and I got to end quick because we don't have a lot of time so of course the question is going to come up uh, as it always does what is the weight what is the weight penalty to have a turbo and then you've got this methanol injection system so what is the weight penalty and here is this is genius okay We've been saying, AJ and I in particular have been saying that shot would be great on a trail sled as well as mountain sleds. Why not have it on trail sleds? People would like it. People want electric start. We already know that. Everybody buys sleds with electric start. This unit has shot, so it does not have traditional electric start. It has shot. It's the first trail sled, true trail sled that does. With shot, this weighs the same as a naturally aspirated electric start 850. Now put that in your mind and think about that. You can have 180 true horsepower that weighs the same as the 165 naturally aspirated, no weight penalty. That's mind blowing. And that, that deserves a ton of credit given to Skidoo because that's, that's hard to do. And they managed to do it with all kinds of voodoo trickery under the hood here as, as Skidoo always seems to. What's one thing everybody loved on the 900 ace turbo r what's one thing everybody freaked out about when it came out launch mode this is a turbo two stroke it's got launch mode and launch mode is sick on a two stroke it's crazy it's so easy to access through the buttons on the left hand switch gear into the gauge and when you hold it wide open it's got kind of like a stutter box kind of thing so it builds a hundred percent boost when you let go of the brake you get a hundred percent 180 horsepower right from engagement it's honestly it's sick and if you're not careful you wheel it over backwards that's the best I can do with the time that I've got right now. This thing is awesome. I wanted to give you guys as much information as I could really, really quick. Um, we'll have lots more info coming for you guys and obviously full ride reviews next season. So stay tuned. But for now, that's what I can tell you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate all those things. We do try and reply to every comment that, that uh, warrants a reply. And uh, yeah, anyway, before we end, obviously I have to run it or you guys will 
crucify me. So let's get it running and you can hear what it sounds like. I wish I could run it up and you know what? Let's do the launch control without launching because it sounds amazing. That was full boost. If I had to let go of the throttle, I would have launched right over that cabin over there. So couldn't do that. Now you know what it sounds like. Now you don't have to ask me about it. <laughs> 